It really worked. <laughs> okay, so the goal here is to make this into a more usable, enjoyable workstation for Lego. And that way we're not bringing the stuff upstairs and then it never gets put away properly. That's, that's my goal. Now, I ordered this table from Walmart. What I'm hoping is with that table here, we'll add in some lights, we'll make it comfortable, we'll put a chair here, and then some of the Lego collection will probably be under the table here on the left side, but ideally, we will be able to get all of the Lego collection into the laundry room, which brings us here under the stairs. Now, I have redone and redone and redone and redone this, but we are going to do it again. We are going to do it again to see no, not to see if. No, we're going to make it happen. Somehow, we're going to be able to fit the Lego collection in here, or at least like 75% of it. So that will probably necessitate going through all of this and all of that so that we can condense, we can get organized, we can donate some items because we definitely have way more than we need. Okay, the new table arrived today. So we are gonna start working on this in earnest. It's gonna be amazing. I have gathered up a load of things that are gonna go upstairs because I want to have them elsewhere. These books are gonna go up on the shelves upstairs. These are all empty bottles. <laughs> uh, this is a bag of garbage. I've got some Disney stuff that's gonna go upstairs and be displayed. I needed a scrubber, so I'm bringing that. This is a drawer to a table that my uh, grandparents-in-law, rest in peace, it went to, yeah, this gorgeous little table we used to have of theirs. The table eventually fell apart, but I kept the drawer drawer and I want to do something with it. I've wanted to do something with it for like five or well at least five years. We're gonna finally do something with it. I am excited. This is happening. I feel so good you guys. Now that we still have I mean a crazy long list of stuff but every step forward literally step every step means so much to me now. So not only do I need to finish cleaning this off, uh, but I also, well, and I, I got I got a ton of laundry done. There's not like bags and piles of it and random socks on the floor anymore. I think there's a raincoat under there that I need to get. That is the basket of single socks. And then there is a shower curtain and rod over there from the still not put back together downstairs bathroom. I think I'm just gonna take that apart, clean it, fold it, and put it away. This is ridiculous. But the other thing is this corner, this very wasted clutter gathering corner. We have buckets here of, you know, supplies, extras. Many of you know I was raised a Mormon and like having this massive supply of wheat or beans or whatever, that was what you did, even in a teeny tiny house. And I do still believe in being prepared. Stay tuned, we're gonna be doing a bunch of emergency preparedness videos but with a frugal space saving twist coming soon. Okay, that is coming. I do believe in that. Sorry for the noise, but mama's doing laundry. <laughs> anyway, but this is not working. This has not been working for like 15 years. And there is stuff back here. I'm gonna have to get the grabber because look at this mess. Bras, hangers, panty liners, God knows what else. So this is not working. I need a solution for this situation. Shelves maybe could work if they were cut to go around these pipes. I don't know. Maybe corner shelves. Ooh, that could be a thing. Hangers. Oh, this is one of James's biking shorts. He'll be glad to have that. Feminine hygiene products, a sock. Oh, that's uh, one of our, um, an old keychain. I really like that keychain. And some TSP, which is a fabulous heavy duty cleaner, but it doesn't do you any good when it's in a corner in a place that you didn't even know it was there. And even if you did, you wouldn't have been able to reach it. So we got that corner cleaned up and rolled the table over. It's not gonna stay there because we need to be able to get the stuff out of it. And because we're gonna do shelves in here, um, either for like food storage or jar storage. I don't know, probably jar storage or even maybe some of this stuff or that stuff can go there. 
in the corner with the idea that then whatever we keep from this situation will go, I don't know, over on some of those shelves so that then we can do the Lego and American Girl stuff over here. So what we've decided for now is that the toilet papers are gonna go over there in that corner. That kind of wasted corner, that's where they'll go for now. This is, you know, just for now. Because I do want to have shelves installed over there, but that's not gonna happen today. So why not put the toilet paper over there? Then we got this shelf emptied and we brought all of the American Girl stuff over here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get all of it onto this shelf thing so I'm not sure uh, maybe we could try having it on this shelf instead and do something else down here but the, the thing is I want to just keep stuff together that goes together now these and the, <laughs> the aggravating thing is we just went through these what a couple months ago and already it needs it again that's okay that is all right we're gonna do it I had no idea we had this many of the kids' allergy medications. No idea. They were in assorted places throughout here because as we've run out or thought we run out, we would order more. Kitty wants to know what's going on. I had three bags of cotton balls and I know I have another one in the bathroom upstairs, but I thought we were out. This is tending to be a, a trend here that we're realizing. This mystery can of food has been here a long time. We should open it and find out what's in there. It even has a dent, so it's probably not good. But I really think we should solve the mystery. Literally, it's been at least five or ten years that it hasn't had its wrapper, and we don't know what the heck it is. I think we're going to open it. So, back to the overstocking that I used to do. I had no idea even that I had this many bags. Then, there's all of these shave gels, shave creams that I got for free with coupons back in my crazy, hectic, but wonderful couponing days. I had I had some coupons for like a dollar off, so I ended up making money on these shaving, shaving creams, shaving gels. Oh, I gotta be careful where I'm stepping. Glad I have shoes on. Ooh. Do we need that many shave gels on hand? No, but I don't wanna have to buy more if we run out of those. So then where am I going to put them? I don't know resting for a minute and then I will get the last of the stuff from up here and then kind of vacuum and sweep and then we will start moving the Lego stuff over. Even though I still don't know where all of these kinds of things are going to go. The hope is that by decluttering over here and building shelves in the corner we'll be able to get rid of enough stuff from these shelves that some of this other stuff like bags and whatnot can go on one of these shelves. We'll see. All right, so my mother-in-law was able to reach all the hair stuff, and so we've brought it down. We're gonna make some choices there. We've scooted all of the laundry stuff over there. These jars are not staying there. We just needed them out of the way. And then small appliances that we need to be able to get to right away, for instance, the blood pressure cuff, the nebulizer, and the humidifier. This, we're still, it's a work in progress. I don't know that that's where they're gonna live, but we have made room now for some of the other stuff that was from under the stairs if we decide that's where we need to put it. As far as the jars, I don't know that we wanna tackle those anytime soon. Okay, back to the hair stuff. So most of this is from my couponing days. Like this is all couponing, couponing, couponing. I got all them for free, some really nice stuff. But there's just, as happens when you get bulk, especially with like hardcore couponing, there's just way more than we need. Some of this is from the dumpsters. These are, I'm gonna give those to my mom. These are, could I try selling some of it? Yeah, but I think we're just gonna donate. Um, it was fun to find out that I had a thing of detangler in here. I didn't realize that I still had one of those. And then I know I saw like a kid's shampoo in here somewhere and was really excited that we had that. Most of this though, I think we're gonna donate. We have so much conditioner because it's only been recently that I talked to the kids into regularly using hair conditioner. So way more than we need. We'll definitely donate some of those, donate this, share these with my mom. 
I love this stuff, this Garnier Fructis. I love that, so I'll keep that one. That one's obviously from one of the pharmacy dumpsters, as are these Beach Babe dry shampoos. I love these, also from the bins. Uh, but the rest of it, it's, yeah, all from couponing. Loads and loads used to be i mean i had like 10 times this much back in the like really hardcore couponing days so for now gonna load up what i know i want to uh, share or donate then whatever we choose to keep it'll probably go up here well maybe i don't know we're talking about moving all of the bathroom extras since we're not going to be stockpiling anymore like this move the bathroom extras up into the top shelf there in the bathroom if we can make that work Oh, there's a spider. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> it worked. The chair fits, the drawers fit, the table. <laughs> it was a loony idea, but I saw it in my head. I wasn't 100% sure it would actually work, but it totally did. We'll add more lights. Can also bring down studio lights like I was doing one there. This might even be a place to record at some point, but totally works for our Lego. It really worked. <laughs> so glad I found these in our decluttering. These were salvaged from a pharmacy dumpster, brand new and everything. They are lidocaine patches, and I went ahead and put two on my lower back because bang. So some of this, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. We will change things out, figure this out, but at least for now, things are where they need to be. We moved this wooden shelf from the Lego corner, my amazing mother-in-law and I, and on the bottom shelf is the tote with like paper plates, plastic cups, almost all from uh, the dumpsters, almost all salvaged, so like picnic wear, whatever, and then I'm going to get another clear plastic tote out of the attic. Well, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to have one of my kids get it, and then this overstock of like cotton balls and deodorants, things like that, will go on that shelf. And this is very mobile, it's, it's on wheels. So all you've gotta do is scoot it out of the way and you can get to those things. Then toilet paper, we've got over here and a furnace filter. I've got this shower curtain hanging here to dry, but when that's not there, our single sock basket goes right here. We have dirty towel basket, dirty clothing or otherwise basket, empty baskets go on the bottom. This I'm keeping nice and close. Still need to do this shelf, but as you can see, we got all that hair stuff out of here. We donated almost all of it. We just saved a few things for us. And then there's this. It's like it was meant to be just absolutely meant to be. We can very easily get to our many Lego creations and collections, and then Mariah can get to her American Girl doll stuff. I'm gonna have her clean off these lids, they're nasty, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now, absolutely not. Anyway, I just feel so good. I mean, I, I'm in a lot of pain actually, but, but mentally and emotionally, I feel so good, and this, this is ridiculous. This is wonderful. Yeah. God, it feels good. So this is where we can work on Lego builds. I'm going to, like I said, bring down more lights. I'm looking into getting some track lighting, not kind that has to be screwed in because this is like a, I don't know, thing that air goes through. <laughs> Anyway, but some that can just, uh, you know, use the stickies or whatever, and either with batteries or we have a plug outlet there and a plug outlet down there, so we could run a wire to them. It just makes a big difference having light down here and having it tidy. That also obviously helps. But anyway, this can be for Lego or if I'm folding laundry. I could even fold some right here if there's not a Lego build going on. Then here at the metal shelf, so these are the curtains. They're the light blocking curtains that I need to rehang upstairs. And then of course there's the other table. So blankets, 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 all of these shelves, but I am still going to work on us having limits because some of these are going to end up in more of the vacuum bags and probably go up in the attic. And then of course that would open this up for other things. Then all the books went back um, on these metal shelves. They're just up higher now. And then all of this is extra toiletry, 
stuff and the hair stuff that we're keeping and some overstock of feminine products and whatever and I'm going to get a couple of my clear totes if I don't have enough for all the clear totes that I need I will invest in a couple more and that way the overstock things uh, it'll be visible because they'll be in clear plastic but I will also label what all is in them and they can go there I'm also thinking this could really end up being a recording area for me as well. It'd be nice to not have like my recording equipment and whatnot up in our living room, our front room. We could actually have it down here. I don't know, I don't know. All right, so the kids got me down some plastic totes from the attic. These will be perfect for like I was talking about over there to put the, I don't know, overstock of like toiletries or whatever. Uh, into these totes and then also the excess of toiletries up there will be in nice clear totes and then we will label them This blue tote that we salvaged from a public school dumpster years ago is the perfect fit for all of the Overstock of plastic wrap and storage bags lunch bags and it's going to go right there so these totes down here will still be mine for certain business things. For instance, the eBay shipping stuff will probably still be here. But a lot of this is my regular work stuff for YouTube and, and you know things doing with sponsors and different videos and whatever. And all of that is going to go downstairs to the new Lego Build Center slash Frugal Mama's office.